Hey gang, welcome back, LND with you. And I'm gonna talk about Builder Base today, give you some tips on why you should play Builder Base at all. Um, if you're like me, Builder Base is kind of like, it's a nice diversion for a little bit, but then it's just a grind. And you kind of wonder like, why the heck do you even play this? And I'll tell you at this point, so as you know, I've got four accounts. On three of my accounts, um, I've got Builder Base maxed out. There's nothing more to upgrade. I, I don't play. I, I I do one attack a day just so I can get the uh, get the season challenge points. Um, I don't know. That's that's the only reason to do it. And if I miss it, I don't particularly care. Um, but the reasons you want to keep up with the builder base and play builder base for me comes down to three things. All right, I'm gonna get to those, but it's it's gems, builders, and clan games. That that's the three. And I thought talk through these a little bit more with you. Um, so if you know me, if you've been paying attention to watch my videos, you saw my introduction. Um, I told you I I play this game for free. I don't pay any money. So the way I get I'm able to do that is through gems. I have to I have to build the gems and collect gems through the game. I have to, I have to use the gems that the game gives me, and that's you know from obstacles, from from you know different events that occur. Sometimes those those have gem rewards. Um, but then the other thing is that that gem mine, right? So you know when I first started playing. I would see these message boards and people would be like, oh, give us a gem mine, give us a gem mine. Other people would be like, oh, well, there's no way. Supercell won't do that. Why would they give you a gem mine? They want to. They want you to pay for gems. No, nah, but Supercell listened and they gave us a gem mine. And at, at level nine on this gem mine, this gem mine will produce 4.8 gems every day. And when you factor in the, the 30 minute boost from the clock tower, if you punch that every day, that speeds everything up, speeds up production, uh, it, this is works out too. I haven't done the math on this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say five gems per day. All right. So in a month, that gem mine is gonna give you 150 gems, and that's good. That's important. Then the other thing is these obstacles that pop up. You clear those things, and you collect gems. All right. So I got this little tree here. Let's see what happens. All right. Ten seconds to clear it, and anything? No, just experience points for that one. That's a bummer. But these obstacles that come up in the builder base, they often have gems. Not every time, you know, but it, there's a range there. Sometimes it's just a single gem, but up to, I want to say I've gotten five gems out of some obstacles periodically. So that's why I, I use builder base. And the reason for that leads into the next one is those builders, right? And that's why gems are so important. You start the game with two builders, right? And then it's 500 gems to get that third builder and a thousand gems to get the fourth builder and then 2000 gems to get the fifth builder. And my goodness, getting that fifth builder, it, it's a tremendous benefit. It'll, it'll speed up the um, you, you, you strengthening of your home base, but 2000 gem, 2000 is a lot. And, and storing up 2000 gems takes a while, um, but then, you know, that's where you get the, the accomplishments. And the, I think the way I did it originally or initially with, with this account with Warlord was by, um, by, by trophy pushing up the champion league. Yeah. Uh, you know, once I was strong enough to be able to get in the champion league, just, just enough to get the 2000 gems. Then I dropped back down to crystal crystal was where I spent a lot of time farming. But, um, so gems for the builder base may as well do it. Right. Especially that gem mine, just, you know, they build it up, level it up, get those, collect those 150 gems. You don't have to do anything for those gems except go in there once in a while and collect them. All right. And then the builders. So we talked about how to get the five builders from just saving up your gems and buying them from the store. But then the builder base will give you a sixth builder, right? From the auto hut. Once you get that auto hut up to level five, that means auto stays here in your builder base. Can't, auto can't leave the builder base. But auto at level five allows the master builder to go to your home base full time and act as your sixth builder in your home base. Um, now you got in order to get auto upgraded, you got to do a couple some 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 challenges, some things you got to take care of. You got to gear up three buildings, home village. So you're going to gear up the cannon, gear up that archer tower, and then gear up the mortar. All right, so you can get that triple mortar blast or whatever. And that's irritating. Um, yeah, I think to, to upgrade the mortar or to gear up the mortar, I think it has to be level eight mortar. You know, so if you look at my bear truck base, and I can maybe go over there later, but. I've got one mortar that's at level eight, just so I can gear it up, just so I can get get auto upgraded. 
right? And then the cannon cart, that has to be level 18, which is maxed out. Um, your mega Tesla has to be at level nine. And then the real grind is getting the battle machine upgraded to level 30. That's a lot of elixir to get that accomplished, but it's so worth it. All right, because you get that six builder and, and you're good. You really is such a, such a big help. You can't really tell so much here because I, I don't have anything left to upgrade with Warlord. But let me switch over to Bear Trap and I'll show you why. Why those builders are so important. Because these, these build times in Town Hall 13 are so long. All right, so this is Bear Trap. And, you know, this is Town Hall 13, but but I'm still got a lot to upgrade here. <laughs> so what I do, my tactic, I keep five builders busy. And I keep one builder free. And that free builder, every time my storages get up close to close to 18,000 or 18 million rather, I just upgrade a brick, right? And I'm, you know, five, five million per brick. So every time I get close, I upgrade, upgrade a, a brick, <clears throat> helps me work on my walls. Um, as you can see, my next, my next builder is not free for almost two more days. And with these, with these build times, you just, there's really no other way to do it. Um, if you, you know, if you try to go to Lutt Town Hall 13 and you've only got three or four builders, you're going to hurt you're going to be hurting bad because you're just, it's going to take forever to get upgraded. You'll be frustrated. You won't, you won't want to play. So upgrading that auto so you can get that six builder, that's key. And then the other reason to play playing or play the builder base for me, it's clan games. Um, that's the only time, the, you know, once a month when, when clan games come out, I'll do those challenges. And that's when I, that's when I really jump on builder base and, and, you know, knock out, knock out some attacks. Um, because a lot of those clan game challenges are pretty easy to knock out, especially I love the, there's the, you know, the 60 minute stars like that. That's an easy one to do. The, um, the walls, the breaking, breaking the walls. <laughs> My goodness. You, you know, with that wall challenge, I'll just, I'll show you what I do real quick with that. You know, it's like break, break 300 or 500 walls or whatever. I get a couple giants. And then it's just all wall breakers. And this is this is kind of what my my <laughs> my wall breaking already looks like. And it's just sprinkle giants, sprinkle wall breakers. And I just try to crush out like every wall. And then, you know, one or two attacks, the challenge is over, and I, I get like five hundred points for clan games, something like that. Um, it's easy, simple, knock that out real quick. And I don't care if I lose, it doesn't matter. So those, are the, those are the three reasons that I, I keep up with the builder base. Um, and I encourage you to keep up with builder base as well. Uh, those are my thoughts on it. So until next time, guys, I'm LND. Take care.